hello friends in this video we will solve this truss by the method of joints so the first uh, step is to find the reaction so let me say this is rdy and this is rdx and this is rfy You can solve for the reactions using the method that I have discussed in the previous chapters. But if you closely look at this truss, then you can see that. So here it's 6 meters, 6 meters, 6 kilonewton, 6 kilonewton, and 24 kilonewton at the center. Which means that this truss is symmetrical about uh, this axis, so this BE line. That means if this truss is symmetrical, then the reaction forces are equal, and that is equal to total load divided by 2. So reaction forces R D Y this is equal to R F Y this is equal to total load by two and total load is six plus twenty four plus six divided by two. Let's say that uh, this force was actually eight kilonewton. In that case, this is eight and this is six. So this truss doesn't remain symmetrical at all. So in that case, you cannot use this formula, right? So this is uh, only helpful when the truss is symmetrical. So this is, uh, okay, so 24 plus 6 is 30, plus 6 is 36 by 2. 36 by 2 is 18 kilonewton. And that is upward because the total load is acting downward. So the forces are in the upward direction. Now let us solve the joint A. So let's say joint A. Joint A, if we draw the free body diagram of the joint A, then we got a load of 6 kN coming upward. And I'll assume that this is in tension. So F A D, F A D, and this is also in tension. So F A B. Okay, over here you can see that uh, there is only one load that is acting in the downward direction. So technically, I have said that if you don't know the direction of the load, you can assume that in tension. But here you can see that as the external load is acting in the downward direction, so this load that is FAD should definitely act in the upward direction in order to balance it. If you for sure know the direction uh, from just the diagram, so you can assume the actual direction that you think is the correct one. So now summation of FY upward is equal to zero. So this implies that. This implies that FAD, FAD plus, let's say, minus 6 kN, this is equal to 0. So this implies that FAD is equal to 6 kN load. Now let's move on. And if I do summation of F, X is equal to 0, then this implies that, so FAV minus nothing. So FAB is equal to zero. Okay. So we found the forces. Okay. So I have simply copied our original truss. So here we found RDY is equal to 18. And this is also 18. So this is 6 kN. So this is 6 kN in compression. And this is zero force member. So this is zero force, right? Now let us move on to the joint D. So when whenever you are moving at any joint, the maximum number of unknowns should be a two. So you cannot move to joint D because you don't know one, two, three, and four forces. So, so there are a lot of forces that you don't know. Uh, that is why uh, we go to joint D. So we know this force. We don't know this one. We don't know this one. So let's draw joint D. If I draw the free body diagram, so it will look like, so the force is in compression, F A D is equal to 6 kN and we got uh, this force F B D and we got this force F D E F D E so now we I need to find this angle angle theta so I'll just uh, write it over here so tan theta if I do tan theta in triangle in triangle uh, B D E. Let me take if I take tan theta, this is equal to B E perpendicular by base that is D E. This is equal to 8 meter by 6 meter. So theta is equal to tan inverse 
8 divided by 6 this is equal to so 10 inverse 8 divided by 6 this is equal to 53.13 degree so this is equal to 53.13 degree so this is theta so i found 53.13 so this is theta so i found 53.13 and what i'll do is that i'll do summation of fy upward as zero so this implies that this implies that fad is downward 6 6 minus 6 plus fbd sine 53.13 so what i am taking over here i am taking the vertical component of fbd so if i just show this joint over here and if this is our force fbd and we got the angle theta as this angle so this component is fbd sine theta and this is cos theta fbd fbd cos theta so as the force is coming out of the joint so the components will also come out of the joint fbd sine 53.13 over here we got one more component that is this rdy component right we, we shouldn't forget it so normally what happens is that at the supports we normally tend to forget the reaction forces and that we shouldn't do so this is rdy this is equal to 18 kilonewton right so this is in the upward direction so i'll take this as positive 18 is equal to 0 this implies that fbd is equal to minus 18 plus 6 divided by sine 53.13 now let me calculate it so minus 18 plus 6 divided by sine 53.13 bracket close and hit is equal to so this is equal to minus 15 kilonewton so minus 15 kilonewton in tension and this is equal to 15 kilonewton in compression now we found the force fbd now we will find the force fde let's do that and uh, let's go down so we'll do summation of fx summation of fx is equal to zero this implies that f d e so we got plus f b d cos theta and any other force we got no we don't have is equal to zero this implies that f d e plus so f b d is minus so i'll just take minus 15 15 cos 53.13 it is because you see that i got fbd like this fbd like this so my initially assumed direction is like this and this direction is minus 15 so if i take the opposite direction that is if i take uh, this direction then this force will be 15 so when i take this uh, direction in that case its component uh, is like this right from left to right that is why this is positive and this minus 15 ultimately makes it negative but if i take 15 like this it is its actual direction in that case the component will be like this again though this 15 is now positive this component will be negative minus 15 cos 53.13 because it is from uh, right to left anyway this sign will be negative so this is equal to zero this implies that fde is equal to 15 cos 53.13 this is equal to so 15 cos 53.13 this is equal to 9 kilonewton so this is equal to 9 kilonewton and this is positive so this load is in tension so we found the forces and if i just go down So I pasted my file and so this force we found to be 15 kilonewton that was in compression and this is 9 kilonewton that is in tension. Now we have found this force, we have found this force. Now let us go to this joint because we have got two unknowns over here. 
so let's solve for the joint e so joint e the free body diagram will look like so we got 9 kilo newton load 9 kilo newton load coming out of it that is fde so fde is equal to 9 kilo newton and we got a power going load so this is fbe and we got force going here that is f ef so if i do summation of fx is equal to 0 this implies that this implies that so fef minus 9 is equal to 0 this implies that fef is equal to 9 kilo newton in tension right similarly if i do for summation of fy is equal to 0 this implies that f b e is equal to 0 so this is a zero force member so i'll talk about the zero force members separately in my next video in which cases the members are zero force so once you identify the zero force member you don't need to solve like this just by looking at them you can determine that the force is a zero force member at joint uh, b if you see that you have found this force this force this force and now you got only two unknowns that are these two unknowns now i can solve for the joint b so let me do that and let me solve for the joint b so at joint b so if i draw the free body diagram so this is our joint b and we got a zero force member that goes like this so i don't think i need to draw it right so we got a force going like this so this is rdb or uh, let's say rbd this is equal to 15 kilo newton then I got 24 kilo newton coming from up 24 kilo newton then I got force going in this direction RBC I don't know what is the what is the value of this force then I got another force that is RBF RBF going like this okay so over here over here you can see that this angle is 53.13 so which makes that this angle over here is also 53.13 53.13 degree which means that this angle is also 53.13 degree because these two distances are same and the heights are also same if this distance was like 5 meters in that case this angle would have been different it wouldn't have been equal to 53.13 so which means that this is 53.13 and this is also 53.13 as these two members are the zero force member that is why i haven't drawn it over here but still you can you know just draw them and uh, uh, write the value as zero let's take summation of fy upper direction as positive is equal to zero so this implies that this is rbd so this is uh, let's say angle and so the vertical component is sine 50 53.13 degree so this is not theta okay 53.13 because you see that over here rbd is acting like this okay its horizontal component is this one and the angle is theta and the vertical component is this one so this is rbd cos theta and this is rbd sine theta and this is rbd so rbd sin 53.13 in the upward direction that is why it is positive so minus i'll take 24 and this is rbf so rbf we got like this this is our joint this is rbf and we know this angle over here that is theta and uh, the components are so this is rbf cos theta and this over here is rbf sin theta and as this is in the downward direction i'll write minus rbf sin theta so this is equal to zero now this implies that so from here rbf is the only unknown rbf is equal to rbd that is 15 sine 53.13 minus 24 by sine 53.13 because this angle over here is also 
53.13 degree so this is equal to so i'll use the calculator so 15 15 sine 53.13 uh, bracket close minus 24 divided by sine 53.13 this is equal to minus 15 so minus 15 kilonewton in tension so this is equal to 15 kilonewton in compression so this is compression and this should also be 15 kilonewton in compression in exam or you know in any anywhere if you are solving this trust just for the exams or exam point of view in that case if you have solved this half of the truss, then you don't need to solve the other half because as this truss is symmetrical, the other half forces are also same. So here 15 kN is in compression, 15 kN is in compression. That means this force is also zero and this force is 6 kN in compression, 6 kN in compression. But I want you to solve for this force. I want you to solve for this force as well. So you have to do this by yourself and this is your assignment and you have to show that this is also a zero force member and this is also 6 kilonewton.